Welcome back everybody, it's been a time I know uh, had a few issues um, mainly with the internet uh, I've been trying to upload videos to YouTube um, for some time now uh, my last uh, YouTube video uh, took 8 hours to upload um, I have no reason I've got uh, loads of broadband speed I pay for the extra and uh, it transpires that you're in the hands of YouTube. I did complain to YouTube and they just said uh, when you were trying to upload that at that time it was very busy um, and you're, you'd be beholding to them so uh, and when it, when it did upload it crashed and I got a message please upload, please upload again. The second time it only took four hours uh, so I've been investigating if there's anything wrong with my PC bullshit 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 Apparently there's not, um, but anyway we got to push on haven't we and carry on, put up with whatever they have to throw at us. Um, but I've got uh, a couple of new projects up and coming now, I've had a bit of a break. Uh, I thank all the new subscribers, very well over 2,000 now, that's astonishing. Thanks for your comments, um, if you want to subscribe you can, if you want to hit the bell button please do. Uh, I'm not into that. Um, this is uh, not a monetary, monetarized site whatsoever. I do it off my own, out my own pocket, I suppose. Uh, I do fund it by selling some items, um, but realistically, it's just a bit of fun for me, and hopefully, it's a bit of fun for you. So, uh, there's a couple of people I would like to thank. That's Matthew Ricketts. Um, he's helped me with sorting out the computer, or trying to help me sort out the computer, and Simon Ricketts, the brother. Um, and a few other people, Gary McGowan, that's um, assisted along the way. Uh, but this one's all about, uh, again, it's just a copy of, or similar, um, to what I did before with a power supply unit for predominantly name. Uh, but it doesn't have to be a name power supply. It just so happens that I'll be using a name power supply, which will become apparent in the video. Um, but... One of these, a name high cap power supply. I'm going to utilize that. I may not be using that, I will initially, but I might change my mind uh, because I have in my hand a Avondale FWB2, which is a, a rectifier, Scotch key rectifier, uh, which replaces the the old one that we would have been using which I mentioned this one uh, which is a KBP 05010 uh, used by name predominantly in their amplifiers uh, in their high caps and everything else um, but we're we're gonna bring it bang up to date with these sound absolutely serve superb I've actually heard these um, not in this application but on a power supply board um, and that is fantastic. Uh, I'll just go and get a power supply board. Hold on a second. So this is um, an MCM2, I believe. NCM3, sorry, this is an MCM3. He does a two version of this. Um, and you have, in effect, uh, two banks of capacitors. Uh, very versatile. It comes with an onboard soft start module as well, um, ready built up for you. I mean, I've been playing around with the capacitors on this, but the um, the DC, the rectification again are these little Scotch key diodes, they're, and they're amazing how they transform the sound uh, from a a normal Scotch key. I mean, I've been using Scotch keys, <laughs> MBS for. Um, 20 years but these seem to add something to the bottom end uh, well the whole spectrum actually um, but this is a very good very versatile mat, little PCB module um, and he does two or three variants of this if you needed us Avondell Audio uh, so that's, that's that introduction to this uh, power supply build 
Uh, this uh, is a spontaneous build really. Uh, it's um, Oh before I go on, um, many thanks to all the new subscribers and uh, people obviously find this of interest. Thank you very much, thanks for clicking the button. Uh, as I keep repeating I'm not into that, uh, this is non-funded, this is all off my own bat. Um, but people would appear that um, seem to like it. It's of interest anyway, it's of interest so, but anyway, <clears throat> this is another uh, off the cuff, uh, it's just bits that I've had on the shelf, I've already done one of these, this is the second one, uh, this might change, this is this might change as it's going to be in two parts, uh, this is the introduction uh, to this build and the build is a 22 times 24 volt DC power supply. Put it another way, it's a high cap. It's a DIY clone high cap. I just happen to have a case and a chassis, which I've had lying about for some time. It's quite a nice case actually. Um, they're hard to find. They're hard to get hold of. And the other problem is people don't want to pay any money for them. There was a gentleman. Uh, that had these manufactured and um, he tried to sell them for about 120 quid lots of people said oh yeah I'll have one of those I'll let when it come down to it nobody bought any um, it just goes to show how fickle it can be um, but there's a case it's a long case what they call a long case and uh, there's a chassis that goes inside it. It's just a piece, piece of bent up aluminium. It's got a cut out there for your IEC. I've got a typical off the shelf IEC that everybody uses. That goes in there like that. I just happen to have a lovely Tiger Toroid 500 VA transformer. which will just fit in there like that, just nicely. I've got a couple of rectifiers. Now these are the off the shelf jobbies. I don't propose to use those. Um, Avondale Audio, yet again, um, he does a, a nice Scotch key replacement for these. Uh, and it's, it is a hell of a lift in sound quality compared to these. Uh, I'll just have to have, these are new. Kemet 20,000 microfarad. These are 100 volts, 100, 100 volt DC. They'll go there like that. I've got a strap to go across there. If I can't find one, I'll make one. And here is I've got out of a high cap that I upgraded for a better power supplies way back. Um, I replace these these tanks back then um, and that'll be like that I may well upgrade this regulator to um, a shunt rig uh, that Avondale does uh, far, far superior uh, sound but that's what we're going to end up with and we'll have a couple of outlets at the back here uh, 0.24 volts DC. So this is just an introduction and uh, we'll run through the build process. Uh, I've, obviously I've got to drill holes to mount this, holes to mount this, this and these. Um, got to drill some holes in here. I won't do that on camera. Uh, pointless. Uh, I might or might not have put a switch here uh, at the front. There's already a switch on the back. Um, I might put an LED in, just put an LED, so we'll see, we'll see how it goes. Um, oh, I've got a boot here, look. there's a boot for the IEC. Uh, so that's our next project, I know it's been a while, thank you very much for your patience. And I'll move on pretty swiftly uh, to start this. I don't think it's going to be done before Christmas, I've got a lot coming up. There's a few things I've got to do for some people. 
I've got a bit of kit. I put this on eBay. I've got to be honest. I put this on eBay as a kit. And I think it was on there for ten days. There was absolutely. I, I put it on for hundred and fifty quid. Um, there was absolutely no interest really. There, there was a few people that looked at it. Um, to, to buy this five hundred VA toroid transformer with the with the secondaries, you need extra secondaries and extra earths and one thing or another. Uh, that's 130 quid on its own um, what's that worth 25 quid and these are 35 pounds each something like that so uh, plus a couple of rectifiers blah 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 uh, there was no interest in the money it would have been a bargain for somebody but um, I'd rather turn it into a project no interest um, but that's the way it's going at the moment it's, it's very very slow it's times are hard, obviously. Well, you seem to enjoy it, so speak to you next time. All the very best. Uh, I don't think, as I said, I don't think there's going to be one before Christmas. There may be, but if I don't get round to it, um, uh, happy Christmas and New Year to everybody, and wishing you all the best of health. Uh, I, I have been suffering of late, and I'm not going to go into it, but a um, bit of a blood disorder knocked me sideways, and... Um, Thank you very much. Have a good Christmas and New Year. Speak to you soon. Bye.